Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. We are testing every single mask on Amazon, but specifically we are testing American made masks today. That's right. Very excited to test Wisconsin medical supplies. Supplies? Supplies. What's cool about this box, which we'll get into in a second, is that they actually, they, uh, they have their own custom uh, shipper box. But let's, uh, let's get the test going and then we will talk all about that because I know you're excited to talk about boxes. You know I am anyways. All right, let's clamp this, get it done. And we are going to go, this is a PFE machine. If you want to find out more about that, check out the link. All right, this box has an outer custom box made in America. And then when you open this up, we bought this from Amazon. Let's do the, that. It's a really nice box. Like it's actually very tall for 50 masks. So I'm betting they're gonna be folded under each other. Uh, which, you know, takes up a lot more space, but it just, it looks really nice. All right, uh, let's take a look at the listing. Actually, let's take a look at uh, the company. So, very similar story that we're seeing. Uh, in March 2020, their construction company was faced with a dilemma. They could lay off hardworking Americans, or they could start a mask factory, and that's what they did. So, thank you guys for doing that. Uh, we bought our masks from Amazon uh, for about 24 bucks, uh, and uh, they're not making any claims on the listing. Uh, no claims, so that's great. They're just saying, hey, this is a mask. Do you want it or not? <laughs> Let's take a look at the box. Uh, I like the design. It makes this very medical looking. It's got this thingy. Again, I only the Demotech box is successfully. Oh, that's a nice, okay, that's good. I like these like boxes, but like they don't always work for me. And then this is nicely sealed in there, but this is a loose bag. So when I open this, the bag is open, which means there might be some smells in here. Um, let's take this guy out. This is a nice looking mask. They are folded in. See, that's what's making the box that much taller because these are that your loops are folded in. Um, it's a little wrinkled white on white mask. I love their little logo right there. That's a nice little emboss. And this is like very, very good spun bond. Like it's extremely high quality spun bond. Now let's check out the, uh, the ear loops. I can tell it's gonna break. I mean, this wouldn't, you know, hold up like against some like crazy, Oh, that one was a good one. I'm still gonna give them five on it because it's not like, I want let to, me, let me do two more. I'm gonna give a good, okay. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 10. I'm 10 on the ear lips. That's pretty good actually. All right, let's put these on. Let's see what we got here. The nose wire is great. I don't like the packaging, so I'm gonna like give like just a five point ding on the construction because it's very, um, it's a, uh, it, show you here it's just the the folding is weird and you got all these indents and now i think you know if you're going out wearing a mask it's less about you know 100 percent protecting you and there's like more there's a bit of a fashion statement to it i'm putting it on here interesting i am getting very much a, a cardboard smell um i'm gonna call this uh tops baseball card smell you know those old tops baseball cards that it's actually coming back um you, know, you get as a kid trade with friends that's what this smells like. Not, not, not terrible, but you know, I'd give that 20 out of 25 on the smell. Good mask, pretty good mask. Good, good construction. All right, but does any of that matter? If it doesn't protect you, that's what this machine right here is meant to test. So I haven't looked at it, I have no idea what's coming. We're finding out together, isn't this exciting? Oh! <laughs> Uh, you know, I, minimum standards in the United States is 95%. Okay, this came in at 88.748, 88.748. Now, remember, if you were gonna actually test these in a lab, you'd probably test five or 10 or 20 and give an average, but I don't think that average is coming up to 95. I, I just don't, if it's that low. Great spun bond, but it looks like they, they didn't get a high quality melt blown, unfortunately. Um, you know, it's still above the 80% threshold that epidemiologists say is like the minimum, but honestly, like I just like to see the minimum standard of 95% in the US, but they're not making any claims. So they're not like saying that it's an ASTM level one. If you are looking for something that's gonna protect you, look for ASTM level two or three. That's what I would go with personally. That means it's gonna be 98% or better. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope it was helpful. I hope you had a good time. Thank you guys uh, for standing up when you did during the pandemic at Wisconsin Medical. I do appreciate it. America needed you and you responded and that means a lot. I will catch you guys on the next test.